Well, funny man, Tom Papas performing at the Comedy Works South, but first he stopped here at Coco with a chat with Danny. Tom Papa, it's so good to see you. Thanks for being on the show again. Nice to see you. You look great. <laughs> Thank you. So do you. But as we were saying earlier, that's nothing new. Um, I <laughs> want to start off by asking you, and this is a very important question. You know, you're on tour, you're going around. Are you bringing your family and your kids with you on tour? No, we've been together for 18 months and uh, I brought it up. I was like, so what do you think? You want to guys want to come out? And they were just rolled my real wheelie bag out to the front curb and said goodbye <laughs> you said no not even close nice try okay yeah, exactly <laughs> how is life on the road again how does it feel to maybe start getting a little bit back to normal it's really fun it's really great i've done this series of shows recently where it was the first time where uh the theaters had opened in these different cities i was in spokane and in idaho and I keep running into people in clubs and theaters that keep saying, this is the first time we've come out. Like, this is the first big, like, group event. And they're so overjoyed and they're so happy and it's just so cathartic. And it, it, the, the best part is it makes comedy very easy. The, the expectations are very low. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I guess that, that definitely takes the pressure off. What, yeah. are you, uh, what are you working on now? What can we expect? Um, this, it's a brand new set. It's really, I, I, it's pretty much saying that, uh, I'm, I'm proud of everybody for what they got through because, you know, we, we kind of just forged ahead and worked really hard and did what you had to do. And the fact that all this time later, they're sitting down looking for laughs means they did something right. And, and now that we've, and it wasn't a small thing that, you know, we kind of, because we're so resilient, we're going to look back and be like, well, that was a scary, big, difficult thing. We got through it, and there's really a lot to laugh about about the situation that we find ourselves in now. And but, but my stuff isn't like talking about really the pandemic. It's always, you know, how does that affect your family? How does that affect your life? All that kind of stuff. The biggest star in my set right now is Frank the Pug, who my daughter <laughs> adopted during the pandemic, and he gave me a good half hour of material. <laughs> I, I was going to say, I do follow you on Instagram and I really enjoy your Frank posts because <laughs> for any viewers at home who have not seen Frank yet, oh my goodness, he's amazing. Do you have like a ton of material and like awesome stuff that Frank has been doing through the pandemic? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I didn't, I, I'm learning a lot about these animals. Like for instance, when they fall in a pool, they sink immediately. <laughs> <laughs> it, tur it turns out if your head's made of concrete, you're going to go right to the deep end. <laughs> <laughs> is that smart, huh? I keep looking under me because he's under here right now. Is he really? Is he too big to bring up? Can we I'll see bring him? him up. Yeah, let's let's check out Frank in person. We've only seen fun photos. Oh, hi, Frank. Oh, he, goodness. Does, does he know how famous he is? Look at his little mouth. He's, he's a little cool. embarrassed that he didn't get to put on his makeup before this, but he'll roll with it just because he loves you, Danny. <laughs> Oh, thank goodness, because I love him, too. My goodness. Wow, that's so awesome. Does he know how, how much attention he gets? I mean, he's got to know he's like the prince, the star of the show. I think he knows. I think he knows. I mean, the funny part about, about his name, he's Frank, so every time you yell at him, it's like you're in a movie with Sinatra. <laughs> you're like, Come on, Frank. What are you doing, Frank? Yeah. Why, are you, why are you peeing on that, Frank? <laughs> Frank, you got to <laughs> keep it under control, buddy. <laughs> But it's really been so much fun. I mean, just touring around, seeing all these people. A lot of times, the people have held on to tickets for almost two years. You know, they bought them when my tour was about to kick off after my Netflix special hit. And they've literally been hanging on to these tickets, waiting for two years. And the reception is just so great. And I do a meet and greet, but from a little distance, you know, because my book came out. So I'm up, like... I sign it and then toss it to them. <laughs> but we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Exactly. Oh, gosh, I love it. You got that Peyton Manning, like, arm throw. <laughs> right. Tossing books okay. all over. <laughs> yes. Well, Tom, hey, it's always so great to see you. I'm so honored to have met Frank this time. I just, I'm overjoyed. I need to get, like, a paw print autograph. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Slide into Frank's DMs and you'll, you'll start a relationship with him. <laughs> I will. I will. Best friends. Thanks, Tom. Good to see you. All right. Thank you so much. It's the one and only Tom Papa live and in person at the Comedy Works South, October 15th and 16th. Learn more about showtimes and get tickets online right now. Comedyworks.com.